Welcome to this new tutorial. Today I want to show you a simple and cool technique to remove tracking markers from your footage. Let's get started. A few days ago I recorded this footage with the intention to place a 3D spider on my hand. I also put all these black dots on my hand in order to motion track it in Blender. And then made a camera solve so that I could place this spider on the hand and it would move with the hand. Everything worked fine and with a bit of compositing I got this result that I'm happy with. But the only problem is that the tracking markers are still visible which is not very compelling and not what I want at all. So in this video I want to show you a simple technique to remove tracking markers from any footage. So for this to work you first need to have all the points tracked with the motion tracker in Blender. If you have this you can go into the masking workspace and let's create a new mask by clicking on new. And I'm gonna call this tracking marker. Then choose one of the points and create the mask around it. So hold down control and left click to add control points. Then press Alt C to close the mask. Now you can select all the points. Press Shift D and bring this to another marker. Continue to do this with all the other points as well. Now we have all the points covered, but the problem is that the mask isn't following along with the movement of the hand. To fix this, go back, select the mask around the dot, shift click on the motion tracker and press Ctrl P to parent. Now this mask is following along the dot. So let's do the same thing with all the other points. You can simply select one of the points and press Ctrl L to select all the other that are connected to it. Then shift click on the tracking marker and Ctrl P to parent. When I now scrub through the timeline, the mask is following along. So let's go back into the compositor. The way we want to remove those dots is by blurring the areas where they are. So first press Shift A, go to input and choose the mask node. Select our mask and this is what this looks like. And our goal is now to blur all the areas that are white in this mask. So press Shift A again, go to filter and choose the blur node. Plug the footage into it, switch this to fast Gaussian and increase it to about, let's say 40 to 50 pixels. Now everything is blurred, which is not what we want. So let's add in a color mix node and make sure that you have the footage in the first input and the blurred footage into the second input. Then use the tracking marker mask for the factor. This already looks pretty good, but we can still see the sharp edges of the mask. To improve this, we can add a delayed erode node, uh, which is under filter. Change this to feather and increase the amount to something around 10. So now this is almost invisible. And when we bring the spider back in, we can't see the dots at all. So let's compare this. This is what it looked like before and after. That's it for this video. Thank you very much for sticking around until the end. Feel free to leave a comment if you have any further questions. I am Nick from Blender Daily. See you in the next one.